Welcome back everyone. We have now finished working on our registration. We have activated the user. So now we are going to start working on logging in a user actually. So right here, this is done. Activating a user, setting the email is done. So now we are going to go ahead and log in a user. Okay, so how do we start? We need to start by creating the by creating the template, the HTML, what a user sees. So here we already have something, but I'm going to copy stuff in the registration. So it's going to be a lot similar. Then I'll replace it. So here I'm going to change this to be login to your account. We need the token, of course. We need to show messages because like the account is not found, we need to have it. So right now we are going to log in by username. So now I'm going to remove this invalid. Let's see. I'm going to remove the invalid feedback div. Also the success because they are not really applicable. So the email, we don't need it for now. Then of course we need the password. Okay, so this one also is not necessary. So now that we have the password and the username, then we don't need the show one. We need to change this one to be login. So this is the text on the on the on the button. Submit button is okay. This now we are going to submit to login. And of course we need to set up that URL to handle a post method. We need the token, make sure you have it in there. So if we go back to our views, we have the login view. We need to set up the post the post handler. So def post takes in a request and also self. But self has to be first. So we get it. Now in the function in, in the function body, then we need to pick out the data from the form. So like we saw in registration. We can pick it by doing request.post. So either way, I'm going to pick the, the username, and then this will be the username. Then same thing for the password. Okay. So once we get this, I'm going to check if we have username and password. So if username and password. Then now we can try to like log in this user. So the way we do that is we already have we already have imported auth, which should be actually we need to import it here. So from from Django contrib. Actually, we can just say import auth. Okay. So now that we have auth, we can do user equals auth dot authenticate so authenticate takes in a request and then the credentials but the request can be can be null so now I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and pass in the username and password so username will be equal to username then the password will equal to password okay so once that happens if the user is is is, is authenticated successfully then we get a user back so now we can say if user so now if we have a user we need to check if they are verified then we can check if user dot is verified actually is active because that's what we are working with then now we should log them in so now we need to log in a user by doing auth dot login so we pass a request and then a user so the request we already have it then the user, that's the user. So once this is done, now we can redirect them to the home page. So I'm going to make like a, a fresh message here. So messages to success. Then I'm going to pass a request here. Then with a message, I'm going to say welcome. Then they may call them by their username. So the, the name is going to be user.username. Then let me also add your uh, now logged in. Okay. So if the user is not active, so I'm going to come down here. We are basically going to to render the the, the login route login template again, 
and then tell the user that their account is not active they should verify it via their email so right here we can do of course we need to return the render but of course we need to make a space a fresh message here so messages dot danger okay dot error request account is not active please check your email okay so once that's done now i think we can test it out but if we don't have the user himself okay so if we don't have the user himself it's actually going to be different so let me tap this one inside just so it runs on uh, when the user is not active but is there so when we don't have a user that means that the user's credentials are wrong so here we can do invalid credentials try again okay so now i think we can test it out let's see if our server is still running which it is so right here i'm going to go to login so it's coming to registration so we need to look at our url so login is rendering registration and registration is rendering login so this is a mistake here so it should be the opposite registration okay so this should be registration this should be login fine load again so now you can see we have our form when we try submitting in we get an error no http response now returned and i think that's because right here we checked for if the username and password exist so we didn't actually write a case for if they don't exist so i'm going to have this have it on the same line right here so if they don't exist we tell them please please fill all fields okay so yeah so that should do if we read again try to submit we get fill all fields we put credentials that don't exist let's say we don't fill the, 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 the password we get fill all fields so if you fill both we see invalid credentials so if we try to use our our username and password you can see that we are logged in oh the account is not active and then we see you are logged in so let's fix this so right here the account should be active actually so if you can see that is active is true so if we check here so if user is active then log them in then we need to redirect and not to render the right here we need to redirect so return redirect so we are going to redirect to the expenses route because we already have it set up expenses okay so this should run okay fine so run again put in the name and the password and yes we are logged in so now i'm going to go ahead and show you how to implement the logout it should be simple so if we go to our our base.html which is here you can see that we have the sign out link so right here i'm going to create a simple form that can send a post request so i have a form there so in here i'm going to have an input type submit that's going to have the sign out the sign out value then i okay so input submit then the value is going to be sign out and then i want it to submit to to post so action equals url you already know this so url then we'll give it the route so this is going to be the route name this is going to be logout just to slide it a bit i'm going to give it the same class as nav link okay have that then i'll remove this one completely 
So we need to create this view also. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. So class, I'm going to call it logout view. It's going to take in self and, re self and request. Request. Then down here, now we can handle a post request. So def post. Oh, so this shouldn't, should, should improve. We are going to set up our, our logout view. So class going to call it logout view it's going to import from view so now we, we want to handle the post request so get post it will take in a self and a request so right here now we need to log out a user so to log out a user basically what we do is auth dot logout then we pass a request then now we need to return a redirect so return redirect the home to the login page so this is going to go to login this is the view name this also is give them a message let's say messages but success okay pass a request and then we can say you have been logged out okay fine so we need to put this one in our view in our urls I'm going to have it here then I'm going to copy login and then replace logout this with logout view rename this to logout okay so we need to import it here make sure it's all there so now we can test it out so here if we reload, if we reload so our sign out is not is not being shown properly so I'm going to come here in the base, then I'll move the link away from it. In fact, I'll give it a class equals text text text. Let's say okay, capitalize. Anyway, that should at least make it display. So you can see we have sign out. So once a user clicks it, you can see we make a request to, to log out. It's trying to make a, a get request. So let's let's try to understand what's going on here. So we didn't specify a method and that's why. So we need to specify it method equals post. Okay. So if you go back and then try to click there, you can see that we we go we now the route the, the view is triggered. But then we are missing the diff token. So we need to add it in every form. So CSRF underscore token. So once that's available, let's go back to our view. Click logout. Okay, so let's retest, let's retest our functionality. So a user can come here, supply the username and password. So right here you can see that the message is not being displayed, and that's because on this page we are not rendering the messages which we need to do so here if I can get the messages let's see I can log in messages okay so we need to include this one in our expenses so in index.html you can come over here before the expense list and include it okay so let's reload you can see that the message is there okay so if we wrap this everything here in a container because you see it is quite stuck at the top so copy all this into the container reload so if we sign out we have been logged out if we sign in again welcome Christ you are now logged in okay sign out and it's good so now we have a problem a user can actually decide to go back like this you see that so we wouldn't want that to happen. So now I'm going to show you how to protect this, this route. Inside expenses views, which is expenses views here. So right here. So to protect the route, we are going to import a decorator. Django.contrib.auth.decorators import login required. Okay, so we want to say that for this URL, for this view here, a user has to 
has to be authenticated to access it. So we need to pass, we wrap a decorator above it and then we can pass a logout URL. So here, actually it's called login. Let me show you. So when you do that, you can see the parameters you can pass. So this login URL, we need to pass it. And this can be a relative path to, to the login. So here you can do auth authentication slash login. Okay, so let's test it out. Now we are sure we have to log out. So when we reload, you see we are brought back here. So when we log in, password, good, log out, okay. And we can't go back. Even if we call who, we can't go back. Okay, so that's good. That's all we wanted. I'm going to be pausing the video here. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.